Servus guys and welcome to the last Buildcraft Robot tutorial today. Well, to fulfill and have everything covered, we are going to have a look at the carrier and the tank. Both moves move objects between tanks or inventories. One does with his items and the other does it with fluids. So uh, yeah, I built something here to show you how they are working, but uh, in the end, well, it's a bit tricky, let's say it like this. So first of all, we got our normal setting with uh, Emerald Ore Gate docking station and saying uh, fluid in the tank, provide fluids. And on the other side with cobblestone fluid pipe, um, we say, okay, if there's space for fluids, then accept fluids. And yeah, that's how it works. Um, you have to, well, the, the tank, yeah, well, Normally you should use the zone planner to have an explicit zone for your carrier or for your tank to work in But uh, at the moment the uh, zone planner is a bit screwed up. So um, Yeah, the tank and the carrier are searching for inventories to pick up and to bring to That's all they do and they do it if you don't well have a map or a zone defined They do it all over your map so they're searching for inventories and they might go somewhere else as you might not expect and uh, we will see it later with the for example with the carrier so now it's uh, pumping out fluids and it's pumping in fluids and uh, well the tank got a lot of space i think like four uh, buckets or so more or less <clears throat> so uh, well it uh, might be useful for having him yeah, transporting uh, fluids over a, yeah, f a whole huge distance maybe. Um, if you are remembering the old tutorial about um, uh, liquids and uh, well, this is like on the on, on the ocean, on the big sea, uh, it might be useful to have it, uh, well, oh no, <laughs> to get the fluid from there to us here with the tank. So now I have to cope with the <laughs> sewage or oil. This is oil, of course. It's not destroying my whole map. <laughs> okay, there we are. So now about the carrier, which has the same setting. Should provide items if there are items in the inventory on the other side. Uh, accept items if there is space in the inventory. So now all the carrier does is well getting to some inventory that is providing items and bring it to an inventory that is accepting items and of course and again all over the map and now you see what's happening we have here uh, a setting for an automatic farm yeah the one is providing items with seeds and on the other side the picker is yeah getting things in there and now that's what ha what's happening. The <laughs> carrier is moving from one side to the other side and uh, vice versa. So useless in this case. So um, to keep this working or to have this working, you have to have a lot of, uh, well, filters active. You have to have, uh, you have to say the, the, the gates, okay, I'm accepting only these items here and not uh, all of them. And this is the only way you might get this working properly. Otherwise, yeah, it's just going wherever it wants. And uh, well, won't be that useful, but uh, well, if your Emerald Gates are in a good configured, are well configured, then it might be in a good use. So this is all about the Buildcraft robots. Thank you a lot for watching uh, and I wish you a good day, a good week and see you next time. Servus guys!